A young turtle has been wronged by her king, and only the valiant efforts of her lawyers can help. Sound like an unusual trial? Well, the subject was fitting for today, as the A.T. Mahan Elementary School 6th grade classes conducted their mock civil trial. In celebration of Law Day, the Legal Affairs Office wanted to give students a chance to find out what a real courtroom setting is like. We wanted the sixth graders to experience um, doing a trial, and actually it was a mock trial uh, from the Dr. Seuss's book, uh, Yertle, the, Yertle the Turtle. So um, what it was is that we wanted the kids to be able to know the mechanics of how a jury trial works and how jurors actually function, you know, as in a unanimous board. So. Students from the sixth grade classes were given parts to play for the plaintiff and the defense. Both sides had an advisor from the Legal Affairs Office as their coach. The judge was played by Lieutenant John Ward. After each side made their opening remarks, the plaintiff began to make their case. Did you know why he wanted everybody to get on a stack of turtles? Yeah. yeah was it Both sides asked the witnesses to... questions, keeping oh, with the procedures of a real courtroom. Medical experts, friends of the injured and the accused, and even King Yertle, um, herself, was called to the stand and given a tough cross-examination. She's not old enough to be my reason. She is one of my citizens, and when my citizens are called to perform a duty, then that's what they need to do. Well, you seem like you stuck up and arrogant. <laughs> Finally, both sides made their closing arguments, and the jury was given their final instructions and dismissed. While the jury was deliberating, Lieutenant Ward fielded several questions from the students about the field of law. Lieutenant Ward and Petty Officer Hartford were both impressed by the range of questions the students had. Yes, they seemed very interested. Uh, they were very quiet. That tells me right there that they were they were interested, and they had a lot of good questions afterwards too regarding being attorneys and how the court system actually worked and what the jury's um, responsibilities were. In the jury room, however, the discussions were getting a little heated. Finally, the jury came back with a unanimous decision in favor of the plaintiff to the tune of one million dollars. The students playing the roles in the mock trial found the job a unique challenge that they really enjoyed. Reporting for Newsline, I'm Airman Stephanie Newhall.